communities over the past few months. I have met with labor leaders, and I have met with civic and business leaders, and I have made new friends throughout the 17th. I have met everyday people who are very concerned, some of whom are here with us today. Thank you. Those who have come in from Schuylkill County. I appreciate it. Those who have come in from Berks County. Thank you. I met with a woman in our district who works in a local hospital. Her husband became ill. She lost her home because she had to choose between paying for her husband's medical bills or her mortgage. She chose her husband. The bank holding her mortgage were closed and she lost her home. When I spoke to that group and I talked about Tim Holden's vote against the Helping Families Save Their Homes Act, I told them what Tim Holden said in stating why he voted against the act, which helps families restructure their mortgages when they need help. Mr. Holden told the Pottsville Republican Herald that his constituents did not need the bill because it was for irresponsible borrowers and his constituents all paid their bills on time. That's sad. Let me tell you who was the irresponsible person in that instance. Not the homeowners in PA 17 who deserve a warm roof over their heads. The person who was irresponsible was Tim Holden. His vote was irresponsible. He showed willful ignorance about the plight of his constituents and astounding callousness to those who work every day and do the best they can but still need someone somebody on their side to say, yes, we understand, and we will help you because you are a hardworking American, and your tax dollars are what pays Mr. Holden's salary and pension. We want you to work. We deserve to help you. You deserve our help. I have a problem with Tim's vote. And when I told that hardworking, still suffering woman what Tim had said, she and her daughter, who also works at the same hospital, and who lost her father just as her mother lost her husband, they both wept. I know we need new leadership. Leadership that brings capacity and compassion and courage instead of cowardice, cowardice excuse me, and caginess. When I speak to Maureen Kurtek and her son, Maureen lives in Schuylkill County and she is somewhat famous today because she had the courage to speak before thousands about her saga with a medical insurance company that delayed her treatment for a lupus flare-up even though they previously treated the symptoms. And then Maureen almost died. She lost a part of her right foot and a portion of her fingers. She went to Mr. Holden's office to talk to, with him before his vote on health care and to tell him about her situation and the compelling need for health care reform. Mr. Holden still voted no. I am honored to say that this past Tuesday, I and others marched in Washington, D.C. with Maureen and her son where we stood up for health care reform and against insurance companies holding us hostage to their whimsy and profit margin mania. Maureen's son is a double major in economics and biology at Penn State. He is the type of young man I would like to see hold this 17th congressional seat one day. He loves his mother and he is not beholden to the interest of those who would harm others merely for profit and power. He would not vote just to retain a congressional seat. He has capacity and he has courage. This is why I must run. I know that we have lost thousands of manufacturing jobs over the past several years and that we need new jobs to replace them. I can lead this challenge. I understand that Main Street has suffered while Wall Street has prospered despite the economic meltdown of a few years ago, the results of which are still impacting our families and our communities. We require a significant effort, one that is consistent, sustained,
sustained and dramatic, and that includes all facets of our communities if we are to turn around this ship. The challenges are long-standing, and they existed before the meltdown. They have become more dire and in need of triage in the short run and effective jobs and development and development initiatives in the long run. The challenges we face, from the small bank in Hershey or in Lebanon, to the factory closing its doors in Tamakwa, to the green technology startup in Harrisburg, they all require that we invest in strong, capable leadership. I ask today that organized labor stand up for positive leadership and courage. I ask that we remember that big insurance and big corporations should not run the country or our community.